will be the last one, all at the 1400 meter marker. Start of the leg of the jackpot here and they sent on their way. They jump away with young Jackie, slow to begin. National Star was slow away too. Those two were the slowest into stride. Give me the flame is the early leader from Luna Ballard. Run for Isla. Escape artist in a handy position early on. Then Dancing Arabian, who's racing about four lengths off the leader. Winter Muse got away from an outside stall to race about fifth position now. Conquer the world and let's cruise a midfield. Further back, Be in my bonnet. Then came Silver Clock and National Star. Quantum is quite well back. Ten lengths off the leader with young Jackie. Time for Glory and Mama Quera. Heading to the top of the straight, 800 to go and give me the flame. Flame's going to bring them for home here from Escape Artists in close contention. Run for Isla. Then came Winter Muse, only two and a half lengths off the leader. Luna Ballard, Conquer the World, Dancing Arabians down there inside Silver Clock. Then Let's Cruise and Quantum. Further back to National Star, six to go. Be in my bonnet, darts towards the inside, making up ground two. 500 to go now, and Escape Artists hits the front here. Dancing Arabian, give me the flame. In behind those, Let's Cruise. Quantum's coming home hard up on the outside. Luna Ballard, Be in my bonnet then Silver Clock as they come down with about 300 to go. Conquer the world down the centre. Dancing Arabian on the outside comes the Escape Artist. Then Be In My Bonnet. National Stars made up ground two. Dancing Arabian comes to the front. On the outside Escape Artist. Conquer the world. Let's Cruise is flying up late. Let's Cruise is coming at Escape Artist. Escape Artist. Escape Artist beat Let's Cruise. Third to Dancing Arabian. Conquer the world. Be In My Bonnet close up with Quantum 2. Gimme the Flame was behind that with Mama Quera making up ground. Luna Ballard, there was a whole heap of them here. And uh, it's gone to Escape Art as the daughter of Pomodoro to pick up her fourth career win out of 16 starts. I thought a tremendous ride from the young Appy Donald Getson. He rode another one uh, for Sean Terry uh, Midnight Crystal, I think it was on Thursday. So uh, Sean will be happy with Donald's performance again today. And so too will Lance Michael and Eric and Jason and Uncle Les and all of them for that matter. Number three, Escape Artist has come through to win uh, for Lance Michael. Well done, Lance. They'll definitely be watching in the shop. Uh, Sean Terry, Clava Flay Bread, and Donald. Please come and stand over here, Donald. Well done. That's uh, twice I'm speaking to you this week. That's, that's great. Well done. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, I just follow Mr. Terry's instructions. He said just jump her out, get her handy if you can, but have her traveling where she's comfortable. And I was sitting there in second nicely. She pulled me through it in the straight, and when I asked her, she gave it to me. How does it feel as a young happy to have uh, the guys like uh, Richard and uh, Gavin just behind you there? It must be a nice feeling. It's a nice feeling, but I'm just focused more on winning, not well quite who I'm beating. Very good answer. Well done to you, and uh, for Sean Terry, nice ride. Thank you very much. I'd just like to say a big thank you to Mr. Terry for the support, and Mr. Michael, the owner, as well as my sponsors, Cornerstone Stud. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Well done, Donald. Right, here comes Sean Terry, and yeah, I know Uncle Les and all the boys will be watching this one. Um, here comes Sean. Sean, you said, uh, you know, dropping in class, need 1,600, but uh, you wouldn't be surprised if uh, she did run a good race. Yes, um, you know what, I've, I felt that last season this filly did really well, and uh, I was hoping to find a, a mile with a decent draw, but I just, you know, you couldn't could. crack it, and, uh, yeah, at least it's a testing 14, and uh, I thought, yes, let's just back national start with this one, and it's, and it's worked out well. Obviously, well done to, to Donald Hitson. He's, a, he's a, an apprentice that I've always thought had a bit of talent. But unfortunately, he just uh, wasn't in, in my ring enough. And uh, so I don't, I don't give too many rides away uh, for the guys that are still up and coming if they don't work hard. But he seems to be um, starting to do a bit of work. So well done to him. He's ridden two good races for me <clears throat> this week. And I'm sure he's going to go from strength to strength. Well done to Cloverfly, to obviously Pomodoro, and to Lance. Lance... Uh, Great friend of mine, grown up together, and uh, you know he's been through a tough time, but he's come through with flying colours. And uh, even in the darkest hours, he was there to support me, and he bought six horses off my sale, and uh, that's that's a big boost for me. So uh, thank you, Lance, for all the support to the soccer shop, to Ellen Bookmakers, also um, sponsors my um, groom's racing gear. So you, you've always been there, Lance, and I appreciate the support. 
Well done, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. There we go, Lance. Nice uh, words from uh, Sean to you. Well done. Escape Artist has done it. 3, 9, 8 and 16. And just uh, look at those two there, Gavin and uh, Richard and the money again. Look at Richard's place there. 10 rand 40 a place on his horse there. But uh, lovely win by Escape Artist. That's race five. The two feature races coming up.